Stop worrying about what other people think about you. Stop worrying about people's opinions. Everyone has opinions. You have opinions too. Think about it. When you think of a math subject or a food or some event or a person or anything, you form an opinion. That's what human beings do. We form opinions. And when you let the opinions of other people dictate your life, it's not good. When someone shares an opinion with you on something, you should always, always analyze the situation carefully. Just like, just like solving a math problem, right? Think about what they're saying and then ask yourself, why did they say that? If you disagree with it or if you're offended by it, try to analyze the situation and ask yourself, why is this person saying that? What would cause them to say that and react accordingly? I think the best way to handle a situation where someone gives you an opinion that you don't like is just walk away, smile and nod and walk away. You know, a good example is, you know, if, if you're trying to learn mathematics and someone says, oh, math is really hard, I can't figure that stuff out, uh, math sucks, whatever. If you like math, you, you can just say, oh, that, that's great, yeah, I think you can figure it out, but walk away, don't let it, don't let it bring you down. This reminds me of, of an email I received a while ago. It was a student, he was in high school, and I don't think, I think he was a student here in the US. And basically, this student had found this love for mathematics. They were like 16 or 17 years old, this kid. And he really loved math. But he found that all of his friends were basically making fun of him. Um, they thought math was stupid. And he found himself really, really isolated. You know, he tried to get his friends involved in mathematics with him, but, but it didn't work. And so he emailed me because he felt alone. He felt like all of his friends were rejecting him because he just wanted to work on math. So, you know, I, I told him, it's normal, right? When you, when you try to do something that is a little bit different um, from the norm, what's gonna happen is people are gonna form opinions about your behavior. I mean, that's just how it is, right? If you do anything that's different from the norm, by definition, you're different, it's gonna attract attention and people are gonna form opinions. And, you know, being 16 or 17 years old and being obsessed with math and loving math, I think that's great. And of course you're gonna get kids that, that make fun of you and stuff or, or, or say that, you know, it's dumb and math is not worth doing. But, but don't let that hold you back because at the end of the day, math is great, right? Math is awesome. And those opinions that people have, they're just opinions. They're just opinions. And this doesn't just apply to mathematics, it applies to everything in life. I had this friend and he used to tell me that the older you get, the less you care about what people think. And I think that's true. I actually think that's a fairly, a fairly accurate statement. And it's a generalization, but it's, it's fairly true. I think about all of the people I know, I know a lot of older people, and I feel like the older they get, the more unhinged and wild and less, the less they care, right? Now at the same time, you know, you, you do wanna care a little bit, right? You know, you wanna make sure you wear clothes when you go outside, you know, you wanna make sure you, you, you fit into society, you wanna, you want you're a part of society. You know, you have to live in a society with other people, you have to interact with those people, so you do have to care to a point. If you have a job, you have to care enough to go to work. If you're taking a class, you should care enough to go to class, you should care enough to study, you know, be a responsible, productive human being. But don't let the opinions of others, don't let, you know, those, those little opinions, which often are meaningless, they're just someone's thoughts, and sometimes they're not even well thought out. Don't let it hold you back. Don't let it worry you. Don't let it take your, your mental energy. That's probably the biggest one is the mental energy. You know, you, you go to class and, and someone makes a comment about your, your proof and, you know, 
I remember when I was in, in graduate school, there was this guy, I didn't know his name, he had red hair, you know, kind of like the, the bully from the 80s movies, he was just like some red-headed kid, and he would always turn in his homework, and it was always like one piece of paper, I don't know how he did it, he'd write really small, and just give very little details, and smart guy, right, brilliant, brilliant, and one day, uh, I said something, I, I forgot what it was, and he made fun of the way I said it. He says, oh, that's not how you say it. And then another time, uh, I, I took a class and I dropped it. And he kind of mocked me for it. Like, oh, you dropped the class? You can't handle it? And so I didn't let his opinions get to me, right? And situations like that happen all the time in life. And even, even way worse, like in the real world. We're just talking math, right? Once you, once you leave the math realm, things get even crazier. This is... You know, math is, is, is pretty tame. <laughs> so yeah. So don't, don't let those opinions of others, you know, hold you back. It, it's gonna take your energy, and at the end of the day, they're just opinions, right? They're just opinions. And I want you to look back in your life and, and ask yourself, are there times where I let other people's opinions hold me back? I want you to ask yourself that question. Because I, I bet there are. I bet you can think of situations where you wanted to do something and someone said something and that caused you not to do it, right? That caused you not to do it. And I can think of multiple instances in my life where I wanted to do something and I read something on the internet or I watched a video or I talked to a person and they gave me conflicting information. Their point of view was, you shouldn't do this. It's a terrible idea. It's a waste of time. It's not good. And I didn't let it hold me back. You know, I, I can think of a couple instances in my personal life where I was like, no, you know, I, I don't care. I'm gonna do this because this is what I wanna do. And I think that's the attitude you need to have to be successful in mathematics and in life. You know, if if you're thinking about learning calculus and you don't know trig, so what, right? Jump in and swim with the sharks. Just because, you know, the standard is, oh, you have to learn pre-calc and trig before you learn calculus, doesn't mean you can just jump in, you can't just jump in and start learning right now, right? You can do that, you can make that decision. So just because society says, you have to know these things before you know this, doesn't mean you have to follow that. Now, obviously, you know, society th says things for a reason. It's true. You definitely want to know pre-calc and trig before jumping into calculus. That's why people say those things. But you could still do it without. You, you, you can fumble your way through and you can learn some calculus and maybe even learn some trig uh, while you're at it because you'll be forced to go back and, and review those topics. So that's a good example, I think. You know, people say, oh, you can't learn XYZ until you know XYZ. Well, many times it's true, but you shouldn't let that opinion keep you from trying, keep you from embracing something new, something different. A lot of times people have dreams, and I know people, and sometimes I see that they have dreams, and they have a fear, and their fear is basically, I don't think it's valid. It's, it's a fear that is created by opinions of other people, or opinions of what society thinks or social norms. And I think sometimes you have to break those norms. You have to do what you think is right, what you think is righteous and good. You know, you wanna promote good things, obviously. Don't, don't, don't use your uh, opinion ignoring power to do bad stuff, right? Use it for good. Anyway, it's kind of a random video. I wanted to make this because I, uh, I was thinking about that email I got from, from that high school student, and I was just like, wow, poor kid, you know? And I, I think he's gonna be on the right track. You know, I, I think he's gonna keep doing math. He's not gonna let his friends bring him down, and next thing you know, he'll be in college, and you know, things change, right? Things change. People change, you know? Being in high school is very, very different uh, from, from being in college. It's very different from being in middle school or elementary school. You're, you're with adults when you're in college. It's a, different, it's a different situation. I feel like learning is more appreciated. It's more you know, rewarded in college in some sense. It's more encouraged. Whereas in high school, 
you know, it's a bunch of kids, so there's a lot more immaturity. So you're gonna get a lot of that. You're gonna get a lot of that. So if you're watching this video and you're in high school or, you know, middle school, whatever, and you're thinking, oh, I love math, but my friends don't, you know, it's okay. Things aren't gonna be the same forever. Things change. And in 10 years, you'll be looking back and you'll be reminiscing on your high school days and you'll be wishing you were in high school. So, so yeah, there you have it. Don't let others' opinions hold you back, right? Stop, stop worrying so much about it. Get on with your life and live a good life. If you have any advice for people regarding this topic or any interesting stories you wanna share, leave a comment in the comment section. Also, if you wanna subscribe, go for it. And I have another channel, it's called The Internet Sorcerer. I post all kinds of stuff there, just random stuff, but check it out. And I have courses. They're on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. But if you get them, please use the links from either any of my videos or my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathgoods.com. It's a struggle, okay? It's a struggle and it's something that you're gonna have to work on your entire life because what's gonna happen is you're gonna run into people in life and they're gonna make some comment and they're gonna be like, oh, I can't believe they said that. And it's gonna get to you, but you gotta let it go. Right? You have to let it go. You can't hold on to all of those you know, mental preoccupations. You can't be worried about people's comments. You know, If, if you're driving and, and someone cuts you off and they, as my friend used to say, they, they flip you the bird. I don't wanna talk about what that means. My friend used to say that it's a terrible expression. Um, just, just let it go, right? Just let it go, move on. It's just someone's opinion. Someone's having a bad day. You, you don't know why that person cut you off. You don't know why that person you know, did those things, you know? Um, everyone has their own thoughts, everyone has their own problems. Nobody is perfect, and people's opinions are just opinions. That's all they are. You know, if, if, if I took every single opinion that I receive to heart, I would be a complete mess. And I say this only because I have a YouTube channel, right? I get comments every day. I can check my phone, I'll have a new comment. I always have comments. And most of the comments on this channel are really, really good, right? It's very good, it's a math channel, right? It's like G-rated content. You know, we're not talking about controversial issues here or anything like that. But I do get some negative ones, right? You get haters, you're always gonna get haters. And I read those hateful comments and it gets to me. I'm like, oh, sometimes I'll wake up, I'll pick up my phone and I'll read five good comments and I was like, oh, there's a negative comment. And as human beings, as human beings, we tend to we tend to focus on these negative comments and it's bad. And so I try to be self-aware of that. And I think you should too. So it's not just on YouTube. You know, I, I get it worse in some sense because I get more opinions because I'm on the internet, right? So I'm like more criticized and, you know, I still get opinions from people in my life, but I have that extra, that extra burden. And everyone who does social media has that people, who, I mean, I'm not even that popular. People who are really popular, I can't imagine uh, the amount of hate they get and people who do content that is not even related to math, like political stuff or religious stuff or other other you know social issues, that's gotta be wild. I, I definitely could not handle could not handle the heat. And that's not a space I want to explore. I'll stick to I'll stick to this. In any case, comments are a part of life. People's opinions are a part of life. So you have to kind of take them, absorb them, think about them realize they're just people's opinions, analyze them, don't, don't completely dismiss them, but make your own judgment based on what someone is saying and, and don't let it get to you. Don't let it get to you. Anyways, I hope it's been helpful to you. Take care.